Hello everyone. This session will see what is an operator precedence parsing. Uh, operator precedence parsing is a type of uh, bottom up parsing and this is uh, very specific for an operator grammar. Uh, operator grammar is one that is used for uh, all your arithmetic expression kind of things and this is a kind of um, context free grammar which has some limitation. Uh, actually in an operator precedence grammar it should not have any epsilon protection. For example A tends to epsilon like a variable tends to epsilon protection should not be there in a uh, in the grammar okay and one more thing like uh, no two variables should be present adjacent in a production that is in a production you should not have two variables that comes all together next to next okay so these kind of things should be eliminated from a grammar to achieve the grammar to be a operator precedence grammar okay Here is an example for an operator precedence parser where E, T and F are the variables plus star open and close brackets with ID are the terminal symbols. So in the production no way we have two variables that comes together. Always it is separated by a terminal symbol. So we call this grammar as an operator grammar. Now we are going to uh, find the precedence between all the operators that are present in the grammar. Okay. And we are going to use a method for finding this precedence that we call it as leading and trailing method. Okay, so for finding leading of a variable, there are uh, two main um, rules for finding a way the leading of each and every variable. Okay, the for uh, finding lead of a variable, the first rule is like when you have a production of the form a tends to something like this, where y is a single non-terminal non-terminal or a variable okay so we have to add the next terminal symbol to the lead of a so that is your first rule according to the first rule whenever the production starts with a single non-terminal then we have to add the next single non-terminal or epsilon okay we have to add the next terminal symbol to lead of a variable. For example, consider here when you are finding a lead of E, E starts with E. Okay, one more variable, uh, non-terminal and that is followed by a single non-terminal followed by a terminal symbol. So, lead of E we have to add place. Okay, and according to this production, T tends to T star F and T is a single variable. So, that is followed by a terminal symbol star. So lead of T should have star symbol and here in this case for the production of F both starts with the terminal symbol. Okay in case if it starts with the terminal symbol we have to add it like there is no non-terminal like when this a y tends to epsilon it means that it starts with this terminal symbol A. Okay so whenever it starts with the terminal symbol we have to add the terminal symbol to the lead of F. Okay so F have only two different productions where lead of f is equal to it starts with open bracket and this production starts with id both are a terminal symbol so this is your first rule and the second rule for finding a lead of a variable is whenever a production starts with a terminal a non-terminal or a variable and if a is in lead of b then we have to a to lead of a okay so whatever is there when it starts with a variable Whatever is there in the lead of B should be added to lead of A. Okay, for example, consider these two cases. These two productions starts with a variable. Whenever it starts with a variable, we have to find the lead of A and lead of T and we have to add that to lead of T. Okay, and again here in both the cases it starts with the variable. Then we have to find lead of these two variables and we have to add that to this lead of A. Okay. Okay, so for the given grammar, we want to find lead of each and every variable and since f variable have two different production that both starts with the terminal symbol. So this comes under your rule number one. Okay, when the first variable is epsilon, that means it starts with the terminal symbol. We have to add the terminal symbol to lead of that variable. Okay, so both of the cases starts with the terminal symbol. So we find lead of f is equal to open bracket and id. Okay. And now when you want to find lead of T, according to this rule number 1, we have to consider this production. And here it starts with a single variable. 
So we have to take the next terminal symbol and add it to lead of T. Okay, so this capital T followed by a terminal symbol star and since according to our rule number 1, if the first variable is a single variable, single non-terminal or a single variable, we have to add the next terminal symbol to lead of T and again T have two different production and both starts with, this is your rule number 2, when both starts with the non-terminal, we have to add lead of T and lead of F to this set. Okay. And uh, lead of T tends to lead of T doesn't matter. Okay. So here we have to add, we know that lead of F contains open bracket and ID. So we have to add open bracket and ID to that of our production. Okay. So this set will be lead of T. And similar case when you want to find lead of E. For finding lead of E, consider the production for E. Uh, here according to this rule number 1 this production starts with a single variable and that is followed by a terminal symbol plus so we have to add plus to this lead set of E and along with that both the production starts with the terminal uh, non-terminal that is a variable so since both starts with a non-terminal or a variable we have to find lead of E and we have to find lead of T and we have to include that to lead of E okay so the set will become um, place lead of T and lead of E. Okay. And uh, lead of E equal to lead of E doesn't matter. So the remaining elements are lead of T contains star open bracket and ID. So this will be the leading set of the variable E, T and F. Uh, similar to the uh, leading we have something called trailing. So leading focus on the first element of that. Okay, and whereas in trailing, we focus on the last category of that element. For example, if you have a production of a form A tends to some beta x, y. Okay, and this is x, we consider this to be a terminal symbol. And this y, y might be a variable, okay, a single variable or epsilon production. Okay. So, this actually indicates that if a production end with a terminal symbol or we have a variable but prior to that was a single, uh, prior to that was a terminal symbol, then we are going to include x to trail of e. For example, in this case, we consider the last symbol that is t and t is a single variable when you have single variable we have to check what is the prior symbol and if it is a terminal symbol we have to include that terminal symbol to trail of e okay and in this case actually t is the only variable that e is there okay e tends to t and there is no prior symbol to that so uh, this uh, rule number one doesn't apply over here okay so now we have to find lead of f T and E and according to this rule when you consider this first rule alone lead of E contains place okay since T is a uh, is a single terminal and the prior to the symbol was a place and place is a sorry this is a variable and this is a terminal symbol so we have to include place to trial of E and again according to this prediction F is a single variable and prior to that is a star symbol and that is again a terminal symbol. So we have to include star to trial of T and consider this case for F. F has a production that ends with a terminal symbol. Okay, so this actually means that there is no non-terminal. This Y is epsilon. There is no non-terminal over here. So if it end with a terminal symbol, we have to include that to trial of F. That is close bracket and ID will be included to F. Yes only one terminal symbol so we can include that close bracket and id to this this is according to your rule number one okay and there is one more rule for finding this okay and that is again like if a production that ends with a uh, you have some uh, alpha values any productions in that and if it end with the variable if it end with the variable whatever is there in trial of this variable should be included to trial of this A. Okay, so whatever is there in trial of B should be included in trial of T. 
okay so now consider this case actually both of the prediction that end with the term in a uh, variable some variable so here that rule number two doesn't apply over here and consider this case where both the predictions end with the variable and that is f okay so now whatever is there in uh, trial of f should be included to trial of t okay so trial of t contains star along with that this open bracket and a id to sorry close bracket and id to be included okay and consider the prediction for e and e both the predictions end with t and t is a variable so whatever is there in trial of t should be included to trial of e okay so e contains e already contains plus star according to uh, sorry plus according to your rule number 1 and according to your rule number 2 whatever is there in this trial of t to be included to trial of e okay so now after finding this leading and trailing we have to proceed for operator precedence passing